fall pox, a painful, devastating, and depressing disease of chickens caused by a virus called poxivirus. Depending on the chicken's immunity, there is a possibility of seeing symptoms of the disease even after vaccinating them. Unlike Commercial chicken farmers, many local chicken farmers do not vaccinate their chickens. And that is why in this video, I want to share with you the organic treatments for full pox, how to prepare these treatments, the amount or the dosage to give to the sick birds, and most importantly, the prevention measures that you can apply at your farm to make sure that your chickens are prevented from getting or acquiring this infectious and devastating disease. Before I directly get into the organic treatment, something to note is that fallpox is not a treatable disease and the thing that the organic treatments that I'm going to give you are going to do is to help and combat or fight the opportunistic infections because you find that when a virus affects a chicken, what happens is that other diseases usually now overcome the immunity. But before we get into this video, kindly if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification so that every time that I post another educative video, YouTube will alert you. Also make sure to hit that like button and also the share button because they help this video to be shown to more farmers so that they can be able to get this important information. You can also tell us where you are watching us from and leave your suggestions and questions in the comment section below. The first important organic treatment is the garlic. Garlic contains alicin and other bioactive compounds that are very beneficial which help to kill the bacterial diseases because you find that when a virus like fallpox affects the chicken other diseases that are suppressed by the immune system especially the bacterial diseases usually try to come up and therefore by giving this garlic into the chicken's water you are going to help the birds the affected birds to recover faster and here i've prepared you a preparation procedure that you can use to make this organic treatment from garlic you are going to give this garlic until the birds recover the birds can take about two weeks to recover from this infection when you treat them but if you don't treat them you are going to see this fallpox extend up to even uh, a month or even two months the second important treatment is the essential oils the essential oils that are very beneficial in treating the fallpox is the oregano thyme neem and palm oils and these oils are very good in treating both the dry and the wet fallpox remember that the dry fallpox is the one that you see that you see their wounds on the combs and on, on the wattles and for the wet fallpox is the one that affects the respiratory system of the chickens that is some parts of the mouth and the throat so what you're going to do is you're going to buy these oils, any of the oregano, the thyme, neem or palm, and you can use them. You can apply them on the wounds because these oils contain antibacterial properties and also wound healing properties that are going to help the chicken to recover faster. Also, when you're giving these oils through the mouth of the affected chicken, you're going to give them three ml into air uh, for each chicken. The other important organic treatment is the lemon or the lemon juice. The lemon juice contains antimicrobial properties that when you, affect, uh, when you apply it or when you apply the juice on the affected parts, it helps them to heal faster and helps to kill the bacteria that could, you know, infect the chicken through these wounds. Here is a very good preparation procedure that will help you step by step on how to make this lemon juice treatment you are going to apply this lime juice to the affected chicken until the you see the scabs come off after the wounds start healing the other important organic treatment of fallpox is the saline water when i say saline water i basically mean the salt water 
you are going to take one teaspoonful of the salt then you are going to put it into your a little spray bottle after putting it you are now going to shake well so that after now you shake properly to make sure that the salt is fully dissolved now you can spray on the affected parts of the chicken that has these full pox and the other important treatment is the herbal toothpaste the normal toothpaste that we use uh, to brush our teeth can also be used as a treatment for full pox i recommend that you use the natural toothpaste and you can use it to apply on the wounds and this will help to relieve the pain and help the chicken to regain its health faster and go back to its production capabilities if you haven't seen this video on how to prevent the newcastle coccidiosis and the many other diseases that affect the local chickens hit the video that is on your screen right now to learn how you can use the natural treatments to treat these diseases affecting the local chickens